Hi, so I have a collective haul that I wanted to show you, but I wanted to start off with the things that were a little bit more boring. Um, yeah, I don't know, I'll just start then. This is the Vaseline Cocoa Body Oil. I've been into self-care and body care a lot for like the past few months, and I always see like a lot of girls talking about using body oil right after the shower and then applying your lotion and hopefully now that it will be a little bit more cold this will work out for me um like i said this smells like cocoa um i don't necessarily have anything specifically like cocoa or vanilla i think i only have one spray one body mist might be a little bit vanilla but overall I do want to get more um, body sprays from Bath & Body Works, but I might as well wait for their sale to come around. Um, a few weeks ago, they had the $5.95 body mist spray sale. I didn't get anything, but now I do want a little bit more options. So that was the first thing. Um, I'm going to be doing my nails today because like you can see my charms are falling off and then like the butterfly is fading out um and i don't have like a basic little pink shade and this one is sheer in the shade 220 rose quartz i wanted a sheer color i would i would have preferred to have a gel polish but i i just when I get impatient, I just go to the store and get whatever color that I need for that specific day or time. Um, I got two shirts. The first one is this, um, almost like an army green shirt. And it is cropped. Unfortunately, so many shirts are just, like, cropped. But I like the fact that it didn't have a v-neck. Um, v-necks are not my preferred cutout, I guess. Um, this is, like... From the cheaper section, the $5, the really like basic, I should say, their basic clothing. Um, and then I got this one. This one is the one that I'm more excited about. Um, this one is cropped, unfortunately, but I feel like it's slightly like longer, and I really like the buttons. I don't, all of them, they are practical. Sometimes the buttons um, are just for show. And I got this for $16. This is a burnt orange shirt that's long sleeve. Um, and the green one wasn't. So yeah, this is just a basic long sleeve. And the green one is not. It's just a little short sleeve crop top. I went to Five and Below and I found quite a few of items that were really cute um i got these hello kitty figures they're so pretty so this one is like a little unicorn i don't know if she's supposed to be like another cat because of the little face here she just has like a little piece of cake or like a little donut she has a little donut right there in here, she's supposed to be like a little ice cream cone. These were really nice. Um, and I want to put them on my shelf. That's on top of my TV. I might as well go in order with the Hello Kitty stuff. Oh, I only got one more Hello Kitty. I then got this lanyard. I've been looking for the lanyard for the longest time, ever since I saw it. Um, she is a little mermaid. I wear a lanyard on my hip when I go to work because that's where I put my badge and I wanted a new one. Um, so I was very fortunate to find this one so I'll be using it for work. Or maybe I'll use the one that my boyfriend got me because he also got me one. Um, it really depends, honestly. And then, um, a little, like, miscellaneous. I got these little stickers. They're little cats, and I thought they were cute and chubby. And I like
like cats so i got that um and one thing i like is that they have like a plain side and then they also have like a holographic side i always like when they do that you can't really see it because of the lighting but it's there Then I have my anime stuff. I got this Fruits Basket air, um, air freshener. I just love this. Um, obviously these don't really last long, but I like collecting them and just having them in my car. <laughs> That's literally it. I probably have too many, but I don't want to get rid of them. Um, I got this Jojo Magnet. This is their sixth season. Yes. Is it their sixth? Yeah, it is. Yeah, sorry. Um, so this is Jolene. That's FF Weather Report. Anna Sui or Anastasia. I don't know her little boy's name. And no offense, I really don't care. Hermes. And then you can see Jotaro in the background. I don't have... Well, I can put this in um, the fridge that I share with my family, but I feel like no one cares about it. So I'm going to put it on the little cart where I put all my body care stuff because it's um, magnetic. It's a metal thing. So I feel like this would be really nice on there to add. Um, and then the last three things that I got from Five and Below are Pusheen related. Um, I already took the plastic off of this one because it was really loud and you would think it would sound really nice but I always end up having to lower the volume so much so I just took it off. I actually don't really care about poppets but I like Pusheen so I thought this was cute to just have around. Um, or I might end up giving this to my nephew because he likes Pusheen and he likes poppets and I can maybe throw this in his like little Christmas bag or something. Um, but I thought this was just really precious and I liked it. Yeah, I was gonna see if it had the price. I think this was like either five or the three twenty five because a lot of the stuff is also three twenty five. Um, but yeah, so there's that. And then I got two pins. Um, this one and just kind of like standing up and then. Or is Pusheen a girl? I don't know if Pusheen is a boy or a girl. I'm so sorry. Um, and then Pusheen laying down. I love pins. I like collecting pins. Um, a while back, I actually made a video that I never uploaded of me putting my pins on this little cork board that I got. So I might do this at the very end of this video. Um, and then the last things are actually from Spirit Halloween. I got these a while back, maybe like two weeks or so back, and I just never made a video about them, so. The first thing I got was the Bloodwell necklace. This is like my little witch girl, my little vampire fantasy, and I really like it. Um, it is silver, and I think I'm going to change the chain to a solid black chain. Um, because I personally prefer when the necklace is a little bit higher up. I'm not against having a longer necklace, but I just don't like how they end up rusting in between my chest. It just looks weird. Um, yeah, so I just prefer a black chain. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And the silver doesn't bother me because I have silver rings. I'm just trying to navigate towards gold more. But unfortunately, a lot of the stuff that's more, I don't know, witch-inspired or vampire-inspired are always tend to be silver. So, yeah. I got these Alice in Wonderland press-on nails. I loved how blue they were. Um, I am probably going to add either acrylic or hardening gel on top of them so they can be a little bit stronger when I go to work. Um... And I might put them on with acrylic so they don't pop off. I just thought they were really pretty. And I love the color blue and I love Alice in Wonderland. So, I got that. 
And then the last thing I got was the most exciting, in my opinion. This is the last thing I got. The crossbody coffin bag. Isn't it so pretty? And um, it has like this like little velvet piece on here. I love this. I love watching all the like the goth girls or the alternative girls going to um Halloween stores and getting all their knickknacks. And when I saw this, I knew I wanted to have it. Um, I personally didn't think it was that expensive. Um, because it was twenty one ninety nine. I don't think that's terrible. I feel like that's usually how much um bags are. Um. And I really like the little detail of the little cross right here. I'm just really excited to use that. And I'm happy I found it. They had a Monster High bag too. Um, I didn't end up getting it. And they... I remember last year they had um, the Chucky's Bride makeup. Her Tiffany set. And I wanted that one but I didn't see it this year. I just wanted it for no reason in particular i just wanted to have it um since i like collecting stuff but yeah that's about it really